Good morning, good afternoon. So, Steph and Aisha Curry are such activists, right? You see them uh, serving the poor with their little ladles and bowls and free waters they give out. But what disturbed me and what disturbs me about a lot of these uh, athletes and people and entertainers that y'all consider family is how their definition of equality is really good until they have to share the equality. So they're really a bunch of hypocrites. Okay. And I'm taking this from Steph and his wife going to the town hall meeting, trying to keep low income three, I think it is, or maybe four or so townhouses on an acre and a half of land and uh, the community that they live in. As a matter of fact, um, uh, I'm going to let this guy describe it. He can describe it a little better than me because it's just so insulting for me to even have to do this. This is how most of your celebrities think. Here you go. Curry and his wife Aisha live in a $30 million mansion in the most expensive community in the country. There now is a desire in the town of Atherton to upzone a one and a half acre lot so there could be 16 three story townhomes. The townhomes would be on the lot behind the Curries, and the Curries are fighting against it. They are saying they don't want low income residents to live near them because their family will not be safe. Why? Are the people who live in townhomes dangerous? Are they too poor to come into proximity of your kids? Townhomes nearby. I just I just think this is amazing because there's so many people who consider themselves to be social justice warriors until there's any impact whatsoever of any smidge of equality or actual equity in their real neighborhood. Steph Curry <laughs> did you hear that? Did you hear that? I actually uh, looked at the comments they made at the town hall meeting that they all had, the Atherton residents. Uh, and I was, you know, I, I wasn't surprised, but I was surprised. Because every time you see talking points from conservatives that play out in just regular black people's lives, then you have to look at them and, and say, these people are so damn out of touch, and it, regardless of their color. Regardless of their color. Because somehow, Steph Curry and his wife, Aisha, got in mind that low income means crooks. Low income means... Uh, means not hard-working citizens. Low-kick income means they're going to commit some crime against them damn kids that they got, that they have. And so for that reason and that reason alone, they're going to go and they're going to object to having any land plotted out for people that are not as wealthy as them. You see how hypocritical these damn people are? That y'all follow and that y'all love. You see this? I used to like them. But now I don't. Because now I see your heart. And you call yourself a Christian. <laughs> y'all call yourself Christians. See what I'm saying? Uh, even though there's a scripture that says. When you have done for the least. Of these. Come on up in here somebody. To hell with you Steph and Aisha Curry. To hell with y'all. Because everybody that's on low income. Are not crooks. Are not criminals. Are not. Uh, going to bring harm to a community. In fact. They'll probably enhance it. Get up off the stereotypes. 